I'm Ace. And I'm Mia. Welcome to Destiny Camp. Today we're going to have so much fun. We'll show you some really cool ways to have fun in the water. How to make the best snacks and some acting techniques and so much more. You'll need the supplies from packet number two. Dos. Let's get started. Ace, you can't swim without water. Or can you? We caught on the movie Swim Swimming because we have fun. Yeah. play torpedoes, you can play some kind, sometimes tag, you can play frisbee. SCUBA stands for self-contained underwater breathing apparatus, meaning you can go underwater in your self-contained system and breathe underwater and swim around and look at all kinds of neat stuff. You see all kinds of cool stuff underwater. You see crabs, you see lobster, you see some stingrays, a shark, you have eels, barracuda. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that lives under the ocean. When I'm underwater, I see coral, crab, barracudas, I've seen stingrays, seen more eels. I want to see a shark. I've seen some like a bunch of like of those little fish, like the parrotfish and the jack and the minnow balls and all of that. When you're underwater, it's very peaceful. It's very quiet. Fish don't bark. Um, they don't yell. They don't talk. They just swim by real slow and watch you. As opposed to the woods, when you go out and you see a rabbit or a squirrel, they run when they see you. Fish don't do that. They kind of just hang out and wait for you to, to, to see what you're going to do next. Some of the stuff that we wear underwater, um, we start with our head, and we have a mask that we put on our face so that allows us to see underwater. Um, we also have like a jacket that holds our tank. We have a regulator that we put in our mouth that we breathe with. And then we have fins to help us along the water when we put all that stuff on our back. And we also have a wetsuit that's like a rubber suit that keeps us uh, warm underwater. It's so much fun. There are a lot of great things to see, but it's more important to stay safe. Mmm, I'm hungry. Ready to make a snack? You'll need a wrap, dried fruit, pecans, peanut butter, or your favorite fruit spread. Today we're going to make a wrap, a real simple wrap, and we're going to put some dried fruit in there, and also some pecans, and some, uh, what's the matter? How about some peanut butter? Yeah! Yeah, we're cooking! Peanut butter is my favorite! It's my favorite too. And you know it's even good for you. It's full of protein. And it tastes great! That's right. Okay, so let's make the wrap. We need a little tortilla wrap. We're gonna add just a little bit of peanut butter on here. Ooh. Just a little bit. Spread that on just like that. And then we're gonna add some of our 
pecans. That's all like nuts with peanut butter. <laughs> well, actually, you could make this into a paste and make it pecan butter. It wouldn't be peanut butter. But I know what you're saying. So let's put some more peanut butter on our wrap. How about that? Oh, boy. Okay. So we're going to put some more peanut butter on here. Is that enough? Yeah, that'll work. Okay, cool. And then we'll add some of our chopped almonds and some dried fruit. And from there, all we got to do is fold it over. Wow! Simple and easy. That's great! Chef Woods, how did you become a chef? Well, you know, I started when I was about your age, and I went to culinary school after that. Culinary school? Yeah, it's called culinary arts. And that is the school that people like me, who want to be a chef, go to. Learning the right ingredients for your snacks is so important. One way of learning what's in your food is through reading the label on the food. Right down here. See? It tells you exactly what's in your food. You know, Ace, I've always dreamed of being an actress in a movie. So I joined an acting class. Wow, Tammy, getting the proper training is important. Here's some of the video from my first training class. I had a blast going to my acting coach and we learned so many different techniques that people use to learn to act. Now, what kind of instrument is a saxophone? It's part of the woodwind family. Woodwind? Yeah. But it looks like it's made of metal. Well, it is, just like a flute, but here's this top secret thing right uh -huh. here. This is what makes it a woodwind. Yeah? The wood. Oh, what's that called? It's called a reed. Yeah, I remember that. A reed. It's yeah. made of wood, right? That's, that's right. And remember, you heard it here first with me, Jane the Journalist. This report just in. We're going to a live shot where Alvin Brump is working in his new store. Hi, everybody. We're stocking the shelves, getting ready for our grand opening. Alvin, I understand you have a new product, which is essentially wind in a jar. Aren't you that lady on TV from the news? Yes, I am. Here's my autograph. Okay. Uh, well, what can I do for you? I'm here to buy 50 jars of wind. Why, sure. Is there a special occasion? Are you and your friends going to sail that really big boat and you need lots of wind? No. I know. You're flying kites high in the sky. No. Well, no. It's something much more important than that. Okay. Well, what is it? The 50 jars of wind are for my hair. Huh? You see, when I'm walking up the street, wind must blow through my hair when I'm walking. Did you hear music? Uh, uh, here you go, anchor woman. Now, you be careful with that now. Electrifying. Another satisfied customer. Hey.